It was, oh, 50 years ago that I paid a visit to that fortress outside Tabriz. The only place on Earth where the plants that make our tattoo ink will bloom. We had struck a deal with some bandits. We would watch over their exports to the east. And in return, they would guard our plants. But in time, they learned of the true value of the plants. And like vermin, they turned on us. The clan sent me there to straighten them out. That wasn't the wind. Must have been wind. I never knew I had their lives in my hands. I never carried a sword. It was pride, really. Back then, I could bring down anyone with my bare hands. Dusk moths, perfect for creating shadows without arousing suspicion. Nothing. in lantern smoke and shadow. Stand still too long, and you would feel the scorpions picking at your toes. Hmm. Nothing. Was 
this already broken? Smug little monkey. You reach for the highest plum, but your grip is weak. discovered the fungus the first time we came to Debris. In the right hands, it's deadly and contagious. The plants grew in an ancient conservatory, but to reach them, I had to sneak through the old fortress where the bandits were holed up. It was built centuries ago by some shah or other. Every hallway was filled with traps, and those bandits didn't know about half of them. <laughs> but I did. I knew where to find the three levers that armed the traps. The first would reactivate a bunch of old gunpowder bombs. The second would fill all the fortress's narrow spaces with spikes. Finally, a trigger at the top of the fortress would cause the old fixtures and climbing points to collapse. of a madman needs this much security. It's not for me to question a shah.
That fortress had stopped the worst armies the world could throw at it. But I just slipped right through. It was time to infiltrate the conservatory. You must be somewhere else. You only climb high because your hard monkey skull won't crack in a fall. There, in the conservatory, the chief had stationed his best, bravest men. I would leave them a gibbering, terrified mess. I had a choice. Terrify the chief's men, but leave them alive to tell the story. No doubt with great exaggeration. <laughs> or let the fear spread with blood and precision, leaving just a few terrified survivors. were tiled with old slates all overgrown with brambles. I could drop them on the bandits and leave them stout. And if any of their friends saw, I knew they would run off in terror. Come on, show yourself. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. 
There's nothing here. <laughs> fur turns gray, that light, brave heart will leave you. Mock death while you can. the torturous secret roads that led home. I had delivered a message to the chief and, well, we never had trouble with him again. I return to the clan satisfied. Years passed, and I became curious about the ink that I had saved. I studied it, and mastered its use. Nobody knows more of its secrets than I do, and nobody here values it more. The fate of the clan rests in those drops, and I will do whatever it takes to ensure our future.